Hey guys, it's Sarah, and I'm making this video today because I actually have a ton of homework I need to do over the weekend. So I'm just gonna make this video today just to get it over with, and so I have enough time to get the homework done over the weekend, and still make the video. And plus, I actually, today is a special day, and I want to make a video to talk about that, this special day that is today. And that such a day is actually something that's been um, coming for a while that I've been looking forward to for so long since I was a kid. And it's just incredible so bad. <laughs> and yeah, it has nothing to do with Shane Dawson. I wish it did, but it's it has something to do with my childhood. And it's just, sorry, <laughs> so amazing. Yeah. And if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's actually, you won't actually know what it is unless you have a Netflix subscription. <laughs> and, oh, sorry. <laughs> it just makes me so happy. <laughs> so happy that this happened. I mean, I, I never thought it would, but it did. <laughs> I would just, sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, actually, um, that, what I'm talking about is, um, the Fuller House actually premiered today. And it just makes me so happy that the, the Tanners are back. That, that they're back in the old house. They're, the show was just amazing. I, I saw it in a, Shot today and it's just amazing. The first episode, I couldn't even watch it once. I mean, it was just so good. <laughs> it just, it was just so good. I can't believe it. It makes me so cry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enough tears. Sir, it did me while well. I, I get the tears. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, and I know if you have a Netflix description, go check out Fuller House. But this isn't exactly what the video is about. It's not going to be a review. It's actually um, a list, a top 10 list. I know I did another top 10 list a while ago of my top 10 favorite YouTubers. But this time, this is another top 10 list. It's top 10 shows and movies that, I, that should have a reboot or a continuation like Fuller House did. Like something like that. Sequel, continuation, another series, something like that. That I just want them to get back together. Like the shows are just that good that I think they should continue. So yeah. Okay, so here it comes. And no Full House is not gonna be on this list because they already have that. Just want to say that. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so number 10. Sorry, I didn't come up with this list beforehand. I'm just coming up with this on the spot, like, but still, why not? I mean, this is not gonna be an order by how much I want it. It's just gonna be by which I should and shouldn't, by which should, whatever. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> maybe maybe they're not should be back together. Nah, I'm not sure Kurt Cobain can come back from the dead. But look, I'm here, right here. I can sing. Actually, um, depends on how you look at it. I don't know. I could be the next Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Hey, I can dress up as Kobe. Cobain beef. Kobe. Okay. 
Okay, so yeah, um, I'm stalling for time right at this point. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so number 10. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay, um, yeah, top 10 list. Stop goofing around, Sarah. Stop goofing around. Okay, so number 10. Zoe. One, oh, one. Yeah, I'd like that them to get back together. I'd love for the show to continue. And I mean, I mean, who wouldn't want them to get back together? I mean, I love them. And I, I understand why the show ended up getting canceled in the first place. I mean, at the time, they couldn't talk about teen pregnancy. They couldn't have Jamie Lynn on the show still when she is pregnant and choosing to take care of the baby, wanting to keep the baby. I mean, at the time, like, you would, if Miley Cyrus did what she did, is doing now, while Hannah Montana is still going on, Disney wouldn't keep her. They would fire her right on the spot. They would cancel the show without any end, without any conclusion. They just shut it all down right away. And that's tough because they can't, at the time, they couldn't really talk about it. But, you know, I I saw the What Did Zoe Say video, and I'm just like, wait a minute. It's like, the show should continue, make a reboot. They should make a continuation. Because this is, I mean, seriously, you're keeping me hanging here. Did Chase ever find Zoe? Did, did they ever get back together? Because I know they got together in the final episode. But did they break up? How did they break up after high school? Did they, like, so many questions. Did Quinn and Logan ever get back together? Did ever stay together? Did Lisa and Michael stay together? Did they, just, what happened to Lola? What happened to Quinn? What happened to Nicole and Dana? And, I mean, I think I know what happened to Stacy because she was in Sam and Cat. But what happened to everybody? Like, I want to see this episode. I want to do this. Okay. So I would watch that. Okay. Now, uh, number nine. Eep. <laughs> okay. I'm going to. Okay. Number nine. Kim Possible. Actually, I, I'm going to count this because I like to see the show again. But I think I've been thinking of like this. It's a live action movie. Like. You actually put these characters in real life. Like, and I'm available to play Kim Possible. Like, I was thinking the premise is Kim Possible is going to college in California. But she decides to give up her superhero thing completely. She and Ron break up. And she kind of gets pulled back in slowly because Dr. Drac and Sergio are gonna like recreate 9-11 at the, on the Statue of Liberty and try to take over the world and all that. See, I know it sounds controversial, but what do you expect? She was like the very first Disney feminist icon. And I would love to see that in real life. I'd love to see all those stunts and everything in real life, in a real character. And again, I'm available like impossible. Call me. <laughs> okay, number eight. Okay, so Boy Meets World also uh, had a continuation. I'm going to count that. So it's not number eight, but I'm just saying. Girl Meets World. Awesome sauce. Gossip Girl! Gossip Girl 2, everybody. Please make a Gossip Girl. Okay, number seven. <laughs> uh, Melrose Place. I definitely would like Melrose Place. I mean, that's a continuation in itself a uh, Beverly Hills Sandwich 210. But still, it's a good show. I, I love it. And they talk about real issues, so yeah. I mean, even the rich kids in Melrose Place, they have a good time. And maybe Amy Robach can make a guest appearance because she married Billy. If you watch that the show, you'll know what I'm talking about here. Of course. Okay, um... 
Number six, iCarly. And I hate to say this, but I would definitely like it if they put it into more adult situations. Not like Nickelodeon kitty situations, but like real situations like drugs and alcohol. But don't make Sam and, Ka Sam and Carly be lesbians like a lot of people would say. Like, I'm, I see them as best friends, not a lesbian couple. Mm -hmm. This is coming from a lesbian. I am sorry. But I think it would be so awesome. Like Carly comes back from Italy for a summer vacation. And they all get together, make like a reunion episode of iCarly. I mean, that would be so freaking awesome. Seriously, that would be freaking awesome. Okay, number five. Victoria! I know that it continued the Sam and Cat kind of. But seriously, there was really no closure. I saw the final episode and there was no closure. Like, it just ended with just like a normal episode. Like, it was just like, what happened? Like, how did this, like, I know it could take it with Sam and Cat, but even then there was really nothing. There was really no closure for me. Like, where's the closure? I'd like to see the high school graduation. I'd like to see where they all go. Like, what happened? So, yeah. um, I always imagine, like, like Beck and Tori as prom king and queen. Like, they never got together. I mean, they think they were, like, had some flings. But they were always just good friends. And he ended up getting back together with Jade. I always thought that Beck and Tori would get together. Like, make a reunion so was what they break up for good. Jack, Be Jack Be Beck and Jade get back, break up for good. He gets together with Tori. She, Kat gets together with Robbie. Andre uh, dates, dates Beyonce. Actually, that would be totally cool. Andre gets together with Beyonce. That would be the most awesome thing in the world. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um. Now, number four. Four, 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 four. <laughs> Wizards of Waverly Place. Yes, I know the show had ended a while ago. We found out who won the wizard competition. But still, wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, number three. And this number three consists of three simple words. High school musical. Bam! What? Okay, yeah. And I know they did a ring in for the 10th anniversary, and I did a video on that before, uh, like the moments of high school, favorite moments of high school musical. But I don't count that as a full reunion because Zach Efron wasn't freaking there. And they had did, whereas we're going to do a continuation of it called Madison High, but they didn't end up picking it up. And that stunk to me. It was like, wait, Disney, this is one of your most popular movie. You're going to continue it, and you don't green light it, so it's never on the air. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> like, make a continuation, but get Zach Efron to be in it. Make a continuation show, and I'll be in it. Maybe all the other cast members will be teachers. Sharpie will run the drama department because Miss Darbus is dead. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I just made this really dark. <laughs> yeah. And Taylor McKenzie will run the drama department. Chad and Troy will run will be the new coaches of the basketball of the basketball team. Gabriella. We'll marry Troy Fulton. <laughs> I am so so wishing they would get that together. I'm still wishing that. I'm still counting on it. That Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens will get back together. I hope. <laughs> oh, no, I'm happy for them. I love them. So, and please just make babies. Get back together and make babies. Please. <laughs> I'll even donate my own eggs for that to happen. Please. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. Like, this is you said tomorrow. Do it. Just do it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, number two. La 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 Oh god. Oh my freaking god. Okay. 
yeah, True Jackson VP. And again, this is not by how much I want it. It's more just like what I like. Yeah, True Jackson VP. Like, I keep trying to find new episodes, trying to find the episodes, but I can't find it. It's, there's no reruns. There's no nothing. So, yeah, number two is definitely True Jackson VP. I would love to see that. Like, I know that it ended. I remember it ended with True running the company and Madigan being a stat. Max Madigan being a stay-at-home dad. Like, that is just awesome. But I like to see how the company goes with her in charge and with the kids in charge. Like, I just think that's awesome sauce. Like, right? Okay, now number one. And here's a hint. It's a rock. Cause I'm saving the bell! Woo! Yeah, saving the bell. And I know they had the reunion on Jimmy Fallon. Unfortunately, Lisa and Screech were not in it, so I don't count that. And yes, I actually have a Wattpad. If you look at my Wattpad account, you see that I have, like, a story of what would happen. If, like, at the high school reunion and everything, and it's based a lot, and a lot of the storylines are based on what happened to them in real life. But what happened, I don't know. Just, you know, check out my Wattpad account, and I have the link in the description in a previous video called what's on my iphone so go check it out okay so that's it for this video so please give make sure to give it a thumbs up and what shows movie what shows and movies would you like to see make continue or make a reboot or make it a bring or whatever please put that in the description please put that in the comment section below like click that button make a comment and push the send button even if you're talking shit, just put it in. I don't care. Yeah, and of course, make sure to watch Fuller House and Girl Meets World if you get the freaking chance. And I'm sure you'll have a free time because everybody has at least one minute of free time. And I know I've run this for 17 minutes, but of course, I'll see you next week or maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, bye. <laughs>